Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Bragg. Uh, still going through the Jewels Cup stuff. Just grinding away. Are you at level two? No? Level two? 20. Oh, the second, 20. no, no, the second stage, no, I should no. say. No, no. I mean, it hasn't even started yet, right? I still got... It's very much started. It started. It started Friday. I thought I read it was the 30th as well. It expires on the 30th. The first one? Stage two. Oh, so stage two is only like it's four days. It's a short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Disney okay, so like I've conflated the two. 48 hour stream or something like that. Yeah, well, okay. Mm. Nah. Um, yeah, so I was just going away with that, just picking away gems. I had one of the worst pearly like sequences ever, just because I was ba- I was clicking, like and just going. Oh yeah, I reveal I reveal the delicious in hand off pearly, and then I chain that, <laughs> and uh, then yeah. yeah, I was just and then I discarded another target. It was a it was a whole thing. So yeah, clicking wildly with pearly on master jewel is no, risky business. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Because I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to speed it up, as Jake knows. I get quite near the end of my uh, allotted time, and look, I was trying to improve. Time spent on useless nonsense. So by the time you have critical decisions to make, you have no time to do so. Oh come on! It's the first turn of the like. It's the first play of the thing. I'm like, oh, quickly, just quickly get through it. No, got to pay attention. That and a bit of lag. Always like a bit of lag, which shouldn't. That shouldn't. The lag shouldn't cost me. Or maybe it should. Like. As my internet provider, I had lag in a Pokemon tournament. I'm like, nah, this is totally the internet. I can't fucking appeal this. I'm like, it's frustrating. I lost, but that's not my opponent's problem. Eh. Uh, Otherwise, we're getting ready for the custom ban list tournament, which we'll... Yeah. We'll cover that. Yeah, we'll we'll plug that that nice and well. So scheming that away, um, figuring out that. It's going to be a... Trying to find a lane for that, because... It's going to be messy. At the moment, yeah. the stuff we've already done, I haven't really planned. I'm like, oh, this would be funny if we unban this. I'm like, well, wait. That actually might hurt me for what I eventually do. But yeah. we'll see. We'll it's see what Interesting happens. times. Ben. Um, so I won Locals on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, playing Sinful Spoils in my Rescue Ace. I haven't gotten I have SP Little Knight yet. That hasn't arrived in the mail. Should arrive tomorrow. There's have been sent. So... It was oh, two weeks ago I ordered this. No, no, maybe. So you've ordered one? Yeah, I ordered it on the podcast and went to you going, when do you oh, think no, this fine. shows up? And it, you're like, oh, no, it should be fine. Not fine. That's not fine. Um, Haven't even got the dispatch email. Shit. And I'm seeing the, the person say, oh, yeah, I've lost four. I'm like, sick. <laughs> eh, what do you do? I should have just bought product. Uh, this is what teaches, like, just never buy singles. <laughs> yeah, never buy singles. Only Always buy, crack packs. Only yeah. buy large <laughs> volumes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, one locals on Tuesday. Uh, it was a very easy night too. Like the deck performed okay. very wow. well. Fucking okay. I didn't drop a single game. I went two o two o two o two o two o. So, and that's a, it's a pretty it's pretty powerful, and we will get to the YCS results as well. Deck's good. Deck's very good. Like. Although there was the inverse of today, where today I went 2 2. <laughs> yeah, you ain't shit today. <laughs> I just. I lost all bar one die roll and hard bricked a lot. Really? Yeah. So, like, I was. There were hands where I'd opened two small world, two trap, wow. and then another useless fucking card, and I was just like, oh. Well, small world in one of the top lists. I, I just I, lose. I'm just so negative on st- small world. Yeah, I would I, like to say because of that, but I don't know. It just feels bad. I'm always on the fence of Small World or Prosp. Um, I'm actually maybe considering just playing neither. Yeah. And just playing a Breaker instead. Because, yeah, like, it's... It's not very good. Maybe that's today's representation of... I think one time I opened Small World and didn't see multiple Small World. So it was rough. Um, there was a lot of hands today where I saw traps. Like, a lot of hands to see traps, which is always a problem. Well, especially when you're losing those die rolls. Yeah. Um, but overall, it wasn't too bad. I got uh, the best card in the OTS pack from my pack. I got a, uh, a Morkatronic Remotant. 
Send me your morph Morphtronic Remotors, please. I need them. Um, and then, yeah, that was... I played a little bit of uh, Duelist Cup. Jake's scrolling Facebook. Yeah, I'm trying to find uh, something. My story's just not that interesting. I understand if you two would Well, you started with, oh, I fucking beat everyone with little to no effort on Tuesday. So yeah. excuse me if I'm not super involved. Jake was one of them. Um, yeah, I'm... but well, I was playing Duelist Cup. I played like three games of Duelist Cup. One, the first one. Then like the next one opened fucking horribly. And then the next one opened fucking horribly. Yeah. I was just like, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. Um, my at one point my opponent like I had hard bricked and pretty much just had like I was well, just had I had like imperm ash book of moon pot of desires and something else and I was like ah this will work my opponent like normal summons uh cast your unicorn I'm like easy awesome imperm the unicorn then my opponent's like ah oh, happy memory a uh, delicious memory summon a pearly yeah like, why are you playing the whole cash to Europe package you can, you can sneak a yeah like it's just it's free cards to discard so then I ashed that and then they just did another one and I was like oh got to like the full five it was like a seven material noir and I was like fuck yeah so then my book of moon was dead and then I activate pot of design and I get ashed so I was like, nah, I'm done. Don't want, don't want to touch this anymore. There's no point. Um, and yeah, that's one bad it. duel, and Ben just writes it off. Yeah. In in my few pearly matches, I had one where they they've hand trapped. I have the triple T. They have three cards left in hand, and they have tremendous fire, just desserts, and a, a kaiju. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yes, <laughs> goodbye, kaiju. <laughs> How are they doing? Yeah, so I guess it's just a random clump of stuff. I'm like, wow, this could have gone so badly. I have seen some people do some real oh. cooked stuff in Master Duel of late, but we'll get into that, I suppose. You sure about Small World? Good. Yeah, I'm uh, on the fence. We'll get into that. How about yours? Uh, yeah, it's been an alright week. Uh, so yeah, as Ben alluded to, I uh, versed him in the finals on Tuesday. Um... I opened no disruption for the brand new combo, um, so it does all the same nonsense it did before, plus a rank four if so they so choose. Jake thinks that that's the way it works. No, I just had I hard opened emergency, so I never needed to use it to play around whatever he was doing. So I got I did the full regular combo and then was like emergency, get rid of that, summon the other four, go into dweller. Yeah. So that's not the new combo. That's just the old combo. No, I'm saying... Except I hard opened the, the emergency and didn't need to use it. Cool. Anyway, I didn't open Disruption, so Abyss Dweller kind of fucked me. Uh, also, not opening the normal summon that does something also fucked me. Because I could have ideally blown up the back row because I opened the Lightning Storm and the Duster from memory. Uh, punched into some stuff, stolen some stuff, made a Zeus, and then seen how I go. Didn't happen. Didn't open that well. Um, today I uh, was X1, lost to Altergeist. Um, <laughs> so, Duel Links moment! Chad was having a chatical day. So yeah, so yeah, Chad's come back with that. Um, game one I did great, I opened double Imperm, and it was just like perfectly time of me having stuff versus not having stuff on the board. So I Imperm the Marionetta on summon, which is fine. Um, and then it gets into this back and forth where he's like gone torrential tribute on my board um, and then my stuff is floated and in the midst of my stuff floating uh, my board's been empty so I've been able to imperm his multi faker before it's summoned so you just reminded me of a master game I was playing as the one of my three that I won uh, I played against Trap Trick mm -hmm. and I went first and blocked three of their zones and then when he started playing I blocked the fourth and he set, was just like set one had a Fenrir and then Fenry and he had tried to do the Parallel Exceed play. Mm -hmm. So he'd gone like Link 1, Parallel Exceed, and I was like, uh, Fenry Banish. So I had four zones blocked, and on my turn, I'm like, uh, Special Unicorn, he activates Torrential. And I'm like, Oh no! All my stuff gets cleared except for my thing, I block the fifth zone. 
and like he also then pops his finger at that point. I look at this and I'm like, oh, uh, birth, summon back, prep, summon back, full board. <laughs> You're now locked out of all your back row. <laughs> it was great. How fun. It was really fun. Anyway, back to my week. Um, so yeah, uh, game one ended up winning because um, after the um, multi faker nonsense, I dusted what little back row he had and then did full combo. Uh, game two, uh, he went first and opened anti-spell and I had like two or three spells in hand, so they were all kind of dead. None of them like big board breaker kind of things, just things that would have helped me push through, but yeah, didn't get to play any of those. Uh, and then game three, I opened absolute garbage, um, like not even a set card, because I was like, I don't want any of my stuff to get blown up, I've got an impermanent hand, I'll just keep it in hand and do the thing. Um, he summons Fenrir, punches in with that, I then have a little bit to do next turn, um, he then starts summoning bestials and doing all that nonsense. So then by the time I've pushed through all the bestials and all the Fenris and all that shit, I think there was a Nibiru in the midst of that as well. So once I've pushed all through that, then he's like, oh yeah, normal summon Marinette, blah, blah, blah. Like in that time frame, I'd lost all my good resources, any good interaction that I had, it was all gone. So I was like, yep, cool. That was fun. Um... Yeah, and won the rest of the three for today. I think it was Dark World in one game. Uh, what else did I first today? I think a complete mind blank. I didn't first Kurt. Um, yeah, I honestly can't remember what the other decks I first today were. Um, but yeah, just lost to variants and uh, cards I wasn't expecting. I forgot to say, Tremendous Fire Guy, then top deck Regeki against the 7 material. Uh, perfect. That's what you like to see. <laughs> um, Anything else? And then, yeah, Master Duel. Um, I'm in the second stage of the Duel's Cup. Um, I just smashed a heap of it out on Friday um, before like I started getting everything ready for the weekend and all that nonsense. And I think I got up to a little over 10,000 points, which in oh. the grand scheme of things is not a lot. Because like I think the winners generally get somewhere between sort of seventy to eighty thousand points, so it's not a lot of points. But in the small span of time that I had on the Friday evening, compared to like the I last two Friday days night. where I've not been able to play at all, it's it was a decent little decent little thing. I could swear I played. Don't give a sword soul of all things as well. Cr- like killing me. Kashira was like slowly killing my brain, so I had to stop. I, d- I had to stop. So I'm now just on. Sword Soul. It just like, takes so long to play Pearly that that's the only reason yeah. I'm playing so much Cash Yeah, I have thought about I'm like, I've got the gems. I'm like, I probably should just build Cash because it's just so much. It takes so long and it's just... I could... You say you you did it on Friday. Yeah, I was... I could swear I was still doing um, round one on Friday. Oh, round but, one's still open. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you I'm, can still do round yeah, one but then the next gems, but like, yeah, it just means that by yeah. the time you get to DLV, or the second stage, yeah, you're, you're going to be set way for back than the Jesse Cottons of the, the world. Well, I mean, it was genius then. Cool. All right. I'm not fully crazy. I'm just a tad crazy. <laughs> Speaking of gems, I was going to spend a whole bunch of gems and jewel links on effect Veiler. <laughs> Was that and they just dropped in there? Yeah, with a whole bunch, of, with like a whole bunch of like another one more blue eyes card, and they already had sage. So, damn. So I was like, no, nah, rush jewels only, but they haven't released any new rush jewel sets. Oh. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, well, I have heaps of blue eyes from the original blue eyes run, and effect veil is here, and I've got gems and money, mm. but I didn't yet. Yet, yeah, I'll get back. I, yeah, there's, it's going to be a long week. Uh, but yeah, moving on to some news. We start with Master Duel, so... Wait, 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 wait. What? we got to do an update for the... Should we do that Bandless Tournament update now, or...? I don't, I don't do know. That. Apparently yeah. you're running this interject? podcast. Where do we interject with that? Well, you were just going to ignore it. You're going to keep moving? Well, no, it's not my thing to mention, but it you also would have been nice... at this point of the podcast last week. Yeah? Yeah, you also didn't announce it before then either. You just said, we have a thing to announce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. weekly update. Weekly update for the Banlist tournament. So, uh, everything's in the Discord in the description down below if you want to go ahead and donate and again come and play. Uh, 17th and 19th of December, we are having the tournaments at Good Games Hall them. Come along, like I said. Um, so, update to what's been banned so far. We've already hit the initial goal. So, thank you to everyone who's donated so far. 
Um, so I had to increase that initial with that call. Um, okay, the ban list so far. Again, available in the Discord. Fuck, there's a lot. I was going to read all of these out. Yeah, yeah mine this alone is, would take half the podcast. This is a lot. There's a lot of cards. Just pick out some highlights. The highlights. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do a recap. We'll, when, when the cutoff is, I reckon we do a little recap during the week and get the ball rolling. Yeah, Mystic Mine, limited. Yeah, someone... A tactical limit. Man took a tactical limit. Why do you semi-limit Harpy's Feather Duster? So I can't go to three. It was cheaper and I just wanted more of it. And also it's better at two than at zero. Okay. Well, Jake did that one. Um, he burned both... Both of the pearly monsters are banned. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, the Runic Fountain. Zeus. But Pearly's not that good in the grand scheme of things, Don't surely. care. Don't want to know about it. Yeah, that's Get fair. out of my face. Uh, that Ooh, grass I'm... looks greener at three. Metamorphosis <laughs> at three. All the tier... Well, most of the tier monsters banned. Yeah, Merlin's the only one that's left. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about that. It's a two. You can bring it back with Elf if you want ban Elf. Yeah. Um, then you've got a bunch of the zoo cards. So Rats at three. Tiger Mortar, Chuck and I, and Borbo have all been uh, tactical semi-limited. Uh... All the shufflers and millers, they're all at three. Pot of Greed at three. Colosseum, Emptiness, and Royal Oppression at three. Oh god, Seb's gonna play Kaiser Colosseum with Emptiness and Royal Oppression and with Imperial Orders and making Shockmasters and... This is gonna be toxic. There's a way. There's a I, way. I, I just saw the Vietnam flashbacks in Jake's eyes. And of course, Maxi is at three. If you wanna deck build and build along at home, uh, it's all in the Discord. Down in the description below. I should point out uh, that I already went ahead and banned Majesty's Fiend and Vanity's Fiend. Yeah. And Inspector Border and Jargon. And Fossil Dana. And Fossil Dana. However, <laughs> that's still a lot of back row that says no. I have more back row that says no to no back row. There's still there can be only ones. There's still... There's... Seb's now got a tactical <laughs> limit all of these cards. Um, but yeah, so far we're at $515. Um, things are going very well. Very well on the donation front. Yeah, I wonder what we're going to go. Like, it's the... I mean, well, so Maxi, right? So we've got Maxi back. We've also got Emptiness back. So, like, we're getting pulled in different ways of, like, oh, well, control. we can... Or yeah. Go. Yeah. Like, it's... Zodiac control with all of this. <laughs> oh, and there's a whole bunch of Zodiacs around, too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rat to three. <laughs> Just go Dryden Shockmaster. I'm so keen for Rat. Set a bunch of back row pass. Your, your opponent outs one of them, you just make barricade, barricade board blocker, add it back. Blocker's good. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, blocker's good in this. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Mm. Jake, you may continue don't with the news story of the podcast. It's fun. From the cards we've announced, it really doesn't sound fun at all. It's gonna be great! <laughs> it's gonna be messy. But that's what we want. Seb's out here semi limiting <laughs> TC Boo and semi limiting rival. There's a donation link. He's donating. So, moving on to some news, we start with Master Duel. So, obviously, the second stage of the Duel's Cup is open now uh, for another day or two, maybe. Um, so, if you're unfamiliar, it's basically you get about a thousand points for every win, and then you get a little less than a thousand points for every loss, depending on how the match actually goes. I'm sure there's some parameters as to how the points actually work, like how many times you special summon, how many times you destroy, negate, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, wow, really? No idea how that works. Because it, it, it's definitely different numbers. It's not locked in as, like, this is how much you get. Oh, yeah, how much for a win. win. Like, is there, would there be resistance in there? I don't know. Is it, just, is it just a normal Because it's, it's just a ladder climb. You get as many yeah. points as you want. Um, so yeah, that's going for another couple of days, and then whoever wins that will have their invite over to WCQ for Master Duel later next year. WCQ? Or, oh, or the yes. actual world. Just, oh, okay. just W. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought, I was yeah. Like, like, wait, we're doing a WCQ for this? Isn't this is the this WCQ? Just this the is regional? the WCQ. Um, <laughs> um, other than that, we've got an update to the ban list. Uh, kind of. Yeah. So, uh, unbanned, or, or yeah. Limited. We have Telenide Ptolemaeus and Yadagarasu. Yeah. Previously both unavailable in the games, but now being brought in at one. Can we Yada lock? Doesn't yep. matter. Flunder can probably still. 
Again, it's not a winged beast. I Steve. know that, but they get another summon You fuck. Um, is it is could we not yada lock like, in? I just, I just want to point out how fucking difficult it is to do in Flunderies because you have to start comboing, activate something like Where Art Thou, then find a way to reignite your combo to go again. Also, you can only summon it off the M pen. You can't summon it off the thing. And you also have to clear your opponent's board on top of that to then even do it and set up a Yarder Lock. Do they work in Shino Birds? It's, that's the best deck it works in, is Shino Birds. And even then, you're playing Shino Birds. Shino Birds <laughs> uh, in, in December. Let's do it. <laughs> in addition to that, we have, uh, coming to three, Blaster Dragon Ruler of Inferno. Whoop, 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 whoop. Still at one for our next 20. Yes, possibly we'll remain that way because we, cut bad. Um, or, or we bring back all the babies. All the big boys to three and then you'd semi limit the babies. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What's skill drain out? Zero? Yeah, you banned it? Yeah, it's banned. Yeah, I got rid of that shit immediately. <laughs> you can go dragon ruler, dragon ruler, unban galaxy tomahawk, make galaxy tomahawk. Oh, and do fucking synchro combos again. Yep. Ugh. Level leader. There's so many avenues. There's so many broken cards that really just can't come back, and because of this, you know, have to think about them. Yeah, I yeah. hate it. I hate you it can so tactically much. Tactically unban things. Tactically ban things. Uh, so, sure, so. Uh, we also have a new pack coming into Master Duel, and this one's a bit interesting because um, a couple of days ago they did a sort of Konami live presentation thing about the new set, mm. about cards that were coming out in all the different things rush to all uh there was the last links. yeah the last phantom nightmare stuff was yeah like last string. phantom nightmare stuff um and there was some conflation around a particular car that was announced a so link three that got announced um because it looked as if it was just being announced in master duel and they're like oh is this master duel's first exclusive card like how duel links and all them have one as well <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, but then it also got it got announced within the Phantom Nightmare set, so they're like, oh, okay, they've just mixed it up. It's not meant to be within the sort of Master Duel presentation. Uh, but in a way, it is Master Duel's first exclusive card for a little while, and cool. that is the Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames. Um, so from memory, it's Year a of Fire is like yeah, yeah, the Year of Fire continues. Um, so once it's on the board, you're locked into fires. It can reborn a fire from your graveyard. And then, if a card's destroyed, it like summons itself back somehow. That's yep. about its effect. It didn't have it listed here, um, so it'll be coming into Master Duel in the next week or so, uh, and also? then it'll be coming out in Phantom Nightmare, which I think is also in a week or so. Are they going to so it could be simultaneous release? Are they gonna... Do we know what else is in the pack? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, so a couple of the other cards that got announced were um, the new Telenite support that's yeah. coming in, obviously with. Ptolemy is coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, Tri Edge Master, the. Um, I think. Was it a TCD exclusive? Tri Edge Master? Yes. Yeah, he's coming in. Um, I've got to look up those exclusives. The, I used to be so on top of it, now I'm like, oh. I think Tri Edge Master is just the. It, one of them's. I think it's better Coral Dragon. Or it's better the Tri Edge Master is like, depending on the levels of the tuners and non tuners you use, it does different things. Oh, yeah. That wasn't exclusive, was it? I think it was. I must be thinking of another Pretty one. Pretty sure it was. Uh, uh, but we're also getting the Grand Sulfur called Coolia, the Link 3 for them, which stops them negating pendulum effects. So, yeah. Oh, so this is just random exclude. This is like yeah, just yeah. a collective yeah, bit of stuff. This isn't. Yeah. 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 Shit that we don't want to have to put in other shit. Yeah. Because as soon as I saw her, I'm like, oh, are they going to fast track the Fire King stuff? Get this ball rolling? No. Not that. Oh man, the Fire King stuff was sucks so much with the Rise Heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like there's really no point in bringing it in prior to that. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to a bunch of the other announcements from that presentation, we have a whole bunch of Raider Raptors having been announced. Oh, yeah. Uh, including, within that, our very first Rank, rank 13. 13 monster. There's been Rank 13s before. Yeah, there's been one other. I, yeah, take I that back. I think it was, huh. but I think it was a, it was one of the Numeron ones that like you never actually summon with the material, it can't be summoned with material. Yeah. I also made up the fact that there was a ring 13 and that was right. Yeah, you talk a lot of shit and sometimes you're correct. Uh, but this one is also a Towers, uh, has 4k instead of 35 unlike the other one. 
Um, and then it has something else it does. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it does some burn damage, because why not? Um, and then detach three material from this card, target a Raid Raptor, Zigzags in your graveyard, replace its effect with that monster's effect mm. till the end phase. Mm. Uh, and then they get another All rank. Care about is the they fact get a that rank six. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, they get a rank six. They get a new rank up spell. A bunch of new monsters. A new trap as well, which the, I think is um, the effect like copying. Abyss King Dragon thingy. Target a card and negate it. Okay. Have raid raptors ever had the effect copying gimmick? No. Isn't that the proto plant thing? The thing that's meant to kill them? Oh, I don't know. They ate them. They were yeah. like, well, we'll take proto. The birds won in the end. Well, did they? Damn should. Go to the other dimensions and ask. <laughs> just Yeah, I just don't have a care for raid raptors. They look they look cool, but they're, they're I've just fine. They just always made me indifferent. Like as soon as I see them I'm like, my brain off. Which sucks because I've had a couple of ones where oh shit, they've got a towers now. Oh, no one's playing it cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we have a kaiju for that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so, we also got announcements of the new Aroma cards. Like? Like Aramages. Yeah, I was going to say. Another archetype that I'm indifferent to. Have Dried Winds just like skyrocketed in price? That's where I'm seeing on a bunch of those. Aren't they common? It's a rare. Yeah, so it could skyrocket. Especially if it's a rare. I mean, there's no way it doesn't get reprinted soonish, right? Yeah. Or oh. TS pack in like four TS packs. Yeah, so I was like, oh yeah, they've done the reprint, but we just don't have it. But the fact that it exists means the price gets lowered. It doesn't make any is it sense. Dried wins or human wins? What's SP at at the moment? Uh, I checked it. It's like hundred and sixty dollars. Dried wins is. I'm so glad that I lost that TikTok of us saying one thirty is too high. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to sort of go back on that. It turns out it's a very the, appropriate price to pay. The dried wins chart definitely is. <coughs> <Excuse me>. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Twelve. No, it's like seven dollars on Liam, nine dollars US. That's right. That's getting there, considering. What about humid winds? Anyway, back to the actual support. Uh, so we get a sort of uh, tour guide from the deck. Um, it yeah, summons one from deck, uh, and then it can also discard itself and target an Roma you control, and you gain life points off yep. turn, which then triggers stuff. Does a does a tour guide effect lock you in? Yeah, you're locked into yeah. players for the turn. Yeah. I can't. Why do they learn? <laughs> uh, they also get a fusion and a link monster. Um, Is the tour guide effect a normal summon or special summon? Or both? Uh, I think it's both. Because it's both, then that's awesome. Yeah, normal or special summon. Nice. Special summon and a Roman non tuner for me deck. No, when, because it's, no, when it's summoned. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, cool. When it's normal or special summoned, summon a non tuner aroma from deck. Its effects aren't negated. Quite literally, a um, well. I mean, it, not being able to get out the tuner is also kind of rough. It is the tuner. It's a yeah, level but you one might tuner. want to double up. That's not tour guide. Tour guide just says you can't synchro. If anything, this says the opposite. Please yeah. synchro away. Yeah, it's like no do it. you have no choice but to. No, no, you can link. You can oh. do anything you want. Um, but anyway, they get a fusion monster. Um, once per turn, pay 2,000, uh, banish cards on the field equal to the total number of humid wind, dried winds, and blessed winds you control. So up to three cards. Okay. Well, I should know, because it doesn't say... If you can't control multiples. Yeah. Yeah, total number. So if you happen to have multiple copies of these cards, you can banish up to five. Is one of them a field spell? Uh, no, because oh. the field spells Aroma Garden. Why doesn't it include the garden? Because the garden, garden is garbage. <laughs> um, if you gain life points while it's on the field, uh, you can make all plant monsters you currently control gain life, uh, gain an equal amount of attack until the end of the turn. Huh. So if you gain a bunch of life points, you just go boop, down my monsters are big. Uh, then they get a link three. Uh, if it's special summoned, add an aroma card from your deck to your hand. If you mm -hmm. gain life points, even during the damage step, you can special summon up to three aroma monsters from your hand to zones these card points to. In the damage step? Yeah, I don't know how you're getting life points in the damage step, but sure. Oh, the new Sebek card. Yeah. Except you'd have to have the Sebek card somewhere. No, it's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. But then summoning to zone... Like, that's crazy. Just 
Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, one of their better cards in this one, though, is Aroma Blend. Uh, discard a card, place mm. Humid Winds, Dried Winds, or Blessed Winds from your hand or deck in your spell and trap zone. And then banish it from the graveyard, fusion summon a plant monster from your extra deck by banishing materials mentioned on it from your hand and or field. Oh. And if your opponent, if your life points are higher than your opponents, you can also use plant monsters in your graveyard as material by banishing them. This is going to come up eventually, surely. 100%. Because it doesn't say... I love a graveyard fusion. It just says a plant fusion monster. So, like, you could summon a Dragus to Pelio if you had the right material going. Mm. And you're up in life. Yeah. If you're up in life. And then a new trap card. Uh, gain a thousand for each aroma monster with different names you control. Banish it from the graveyard. Tug an aroma monster in your graveyard. Special summon up at banish when it leaves the field. And then gain 500. Yeah. It does some things. I kind of like the new support. Um, I've seen it set up some pretty, like, not crazy boards, but just good. Like, you've got some off-turn interruption with, like, the Bergamot and all that kind of nonsense with the bouncy and all that kind of crap. Like, it's not crazy. It's just just good. Bergamot so. Yeah, there's that too. So did they have a fusion monster before this? No. Ah, oh, so now he likes them. Yeah, they get purple and he's like, I can see that. No, they're just solid cards. Yeah, they're alright. Ish. Still Arrow Mages, though. What if with Jake's colour blindness, he just thinks purple is, like, super psychedelic, and that he sees, dun, like, dun, what dun, we dun, see dun, when dun, we dun. see the 60s? That's not how so it yes. works. Yes, the 60s. Yeah. Well. Well, it's not... No. It's exactly how it works. It's absolutely not. Go get some mustache he, wax he while gets, I talk about the new cards. We see this, Jake sees... I, I don't. Because I didn't bring my glasses, I don't see shit. <laughs> um, we mentioned last week that we're getting like the escape just room about all over again. Mm, it is. Uh, you're gonna be salty about that all fucking year now. Yeah. I'm. I'm the salty. I was the only one in that fucking room, bitch. I was impressed by um, Andrew backing you up. He like knew exactly what parts you were gonna miss and like covered you. It was yeah. a good team. I miss Andrew. Did <laughs> you only saw him yesterday? No, I mean in the scheme of this. Ah, uh, yeah. If only Andrew cared about this game wanted to help me with the braille part the morse code part i was too stuck i was i was I might yeah know. it was you and me working on it and then you no, gave it was, up it was you and no, me I didn't working give up. on the we were working on the the morse code no we sorry this is a side subject to our lives uh yeah anyway um last week we mentioned that we're getting towards the end of the cards within phantom nightmare and we are indeed here we got announced all of the scrap bits at the end scrap cards not actual scrap um illusion so, scraps when uh so we get a quick play spell which is supposed to be generic uh target a face up monster in the spell and trap zone activate one of these effects special summon it to the end of field return it to the hand or destroy it then destroy one monster on the field with an equal or lower level oh that's cool it's a bit annoying that it has to be level. Does that count for the pendulums? What? So, like, if this is, like, obviously it's, it's meant to work with all the, like, I mean, the centurions, your crystal based. Does it work with the pendulums? I don't know, because it says monster in the spell and trap thing, so I don't know if it, like, had to have been counted as a monster yeah. and moved there. Like, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, we get a card that I don't really care to read. Is it an illusion monster? No, but we can talk Beans. about those. We get some new illusion monsters, and the first one that can be destroyed confused me more than anything else ever. We just need to talk about illusion no, monsters. There's no like common thing that no. they do. They're just They're all, all just, over the place. Ah, uh, that's why I love them. <laughs> but the vanilla is so cool. So we have Envoy of the Wax Statue, uh, Fire Level Three Illusion. Uh, when opponent monster declares an attack, you special summon this from your hand. If it battles, neither can be destroyed by battle. At the end of an opponent's battle phase, you can make all attack position monsters your opponent currently controls used as. Uh, hang on. Unable to be changed their battle positions or used oh, as no. material for a fusion, synchro, exes, or link summons and have their effects negated until the start of their next battle phase. So they've power crypt dragon capture jar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not here just to capture dragons now. Everybody. Oh, crypt it. Uh, we get an illusion flippy kind of boy. Um, if this card battles a monster, uh, another commit from a battle, standard. Uh, during the main phase, you can change this card to face down to present defense position. Flip effect, draw one card. 
Woo! <laughs> Dark Mimic. Uh, it's a level one water illusion. Uh, and then we get our first vanilla illusion in Illusionist of Jungle Ghoul. I'm a little confused by the point of that. Yeah, me too. It's also probably going to be like the fucking artwork for our, uh, our playmat. Oh, God, I hope not. Yeah. It's bad. No, but the flavor text... Fuck, where's the flavor text? Read the flavor I've, text, I have it here. A street performer skilled in getting the crowds excited distracts through songs and dances and attacks through using strange moves. The movement those eyes start... The moment those eyes start spinning, that's a sign of danger. So make sure to hurry up and escape. That's better writing than the breakout room. Apparently, the phon- like the way it's phonetically spaced, it spells, but you can't or something. Okay. Like, yeah, just okay. like like all like the characters all line up. So hopefully we don't get another check this out. But check this out. Um, we'll see. I I don't remember what it was meant to say, but it was cool. I'm like. Yeah, one, also it's creepy looking. Yeah, it's super creepy looking. It's also one of the few monsters that's like designed to look like it's breaking out of the frame of the artwork because like you can see the shadow of it breaking in there, the shadow of it breaking there. And like that's the old Game Boy border, isn't it? Or like it's an oh, old... It kind of looks yeah, like I, that. Yeah, kind of like the text boxes in like the fucking Pokemon games. Yeah, like they've... They put in good effort here. The, the but, illusion monsters have been cool throwbacks, but uh, I mean... We'll see if they'll ever become cohesive. Yeah, like, they're just so all over the place. Like, I don't remember Cybers ever being this bad when it was first oh, announced. Bitrons and stuff lying there around. Were a few bad like, ones. there was a few. But ultimately, they were all like, you want to link some. Yeah, yeah this with is these is the... like, just do what you can. This is like, I'm a 2000 <laughs> attack meter in 2023. Off I go. I'm a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we get some more uh, garbage, frankly. Uh, time Rewinder, uh, something to do with flip monsters, I don't care. It's Type Thief Club. It's not. Look, yeah, they're, no. they're expanding the time lore. Get to the headliner, we know who the headliner of this support was. No, nah, that's not him. There yeah, it is! It's <laughs> the King of Pugs! Prince of Pug! <laughs> Prince of Pugs, uh, yeah. No, Prince of Pug. Oh, that's what they translate. The first translation I saw was not Prince of Pugs. Shouldn't it be Prince of Pugs? That was the original translation that I saw. We'll see. Anywho, uh, target a face-up monster you control that cannot be normal summoned or set. Uh, hang on. Target a face-up monster you control that cannot be normal summoned or set. With Guardian in its original name, it, can make, Guardian, baby. it can make a second attack during each battle phase's turn. Does it work on, like, the Guardian Iyato stuff as well? I mean, that's that's the intention. The Guardian archetype is that, but it also works with but, the Gate Guardian stuff. But how does he... How does... How? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As, as, like, I mean, as you had pointed out, did Raphael have a puppy yeah, did, we didn't know about? Did, did Raphael have a dog? <laughs> like, because if he had this goodest boy waiting for him, he wouldn't have been so upset. Look well, I mean, he's on the, wasn't he trapped Look on the island? Him. Wasn't he trapped on the island being only able to play with himself? Right? That's a way to phrase it. Um, sure. <laughs> Gate Guardians! So hard, like, Guardians. so much the ink was coming off my cards. I'm like, well, that sounds illegal. Yeah, he'd be a cheaty boy. Um, and then, yeah, uh, banish it from the graveyard, target a guardian monster in your graveyard that cannot be normal, summoned or set, activate one of these effects, either add it to hand or add a card that mentions it from your graveyard to your hand. So yeah, it's definitely meant to be with the equipped guardians that Raphael uses, but... It's gay guardians! You can use it with the other one, I guess? But you can't use... I, getting a trans... Because uh, Arsenal Summoner was also a Guardian support card and they had a whole bunch of you can't do it with this or this or this or this. The old um, Frog the Jam debacle. Uh, okay. So, so with Prince of Hog, they just don't give a fuck. Well, I mean, well, we haven't got the English, English translation yet. Because obviously it's not called Guardian. All their stuff was properly designated. So we're going to have to figure out which Guardians are real Guardians. It's going to say except Gate Guardian. Poor, poor Kazajin. It just wanted a puppy dog. <laughs> it brought it home one day and the other two pieces were like, yeah, sure. <laughs> but then when they combine, out Jesus go Christ. dog. Uh, we get a level 7 synchro uh, that does some stuff. Um, some rhino thing that has to do with die rolls, so it's inherently garbage. It's called die roll. Di- di- ro- I don't know, in my brain I had a pun. Well, its name is dino stacking. Die rhino. Must have been Next there. thing. No. Um, oh, a zombie tuna? 
Uh, during May phase, move ah oh, just moves around and flips stuff. Yeah, it's not particularly good for memory. Um, well, and I then the wall of illusion is an illusion monster yet. Yeah, yeah I've been know. yeah. It's like instead <laughs> UFO and creepy street magician. Give me black illusion ritual, please. Um, the one thing I did find interesting, and it probably won't be relevant by the time it comes out because the deck will be murdered. Um, a level six fiend uh, target two monsters you control, including a fiend. Special summon it from your hand, and if you do, destroy the monsters. When a monster is destroyed by using the first effect, uh, you can target an equal number of monsters face up your opponent controls. This card gains attack equal to the monster's total original attack until the end of the next turn. So, it's fine. Yeah, so yeah, that's the garbage. Uh, we don't know if there's more garbage to come. Um, one other card they didn't announce separately to this, so in their mind it's not garbage, <laughs> is uh, Etern Manka Karnhol. Uh, not sure if that's how it's meant to be pronounced, but sure. Uh, it's a level 10 light machine. Uh, cannot be normal summon to set. Must be a special summon from your hand. If your opponent activated a monster effect in their hand or graveyard during this duel, um, you can only special summon it once per turn. Once oh, per yeah. turn, if your opponent activates a monster effect, make this card gain a thousand attack. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, except from the hand or deck, shuffle it into the deck. So you just overlay it into um, Gustav Max. Yes. And then you can you've never got, deck out. Yeah, you've got infinite Gustav Max materials. Yeah, the fact that it just recognises your opponent's activated a monster effect in the hand or in the graveyard for the duel, and then its effect is life. That's pretty cool. So maybe you can't use it turn one. I mean, if, if they it. ash it, and then you just go, Ha! I said maybe you can't use it turn one. In the OCG, it's always going to be live, because in the draw phase, they're going to drop Maxi. <laughs> oh no, burn. Do doesn't burn. Um, draw four. Another... Mm, hang on. I've lost the thing. We're going to talk about YCS. Yes, yes, we can talk about YCS. So as we were doing our podcast last week, we were in the middle of YCS Indianapolis. Uh, we have, the... But we also kind of knew where it was going. Yeah, kind of. It was, <laughs> it was... Kind, of, it was kind of broadcasting. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, the top 32 is as follows. 38% Rescue Ace, 13% Purely, 10% Two Element, 6% Unchained, 6% Man Manadium. I've heard that pronounced so many different ways. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it the Manadium, way that it's fine. perceived as correct. No, it's it's Manadium. Just, I, I really don't want it to be. I've heard it Manadium, Manadium, Manadium. Yeah, I've heard Manadium. I don't like Manadium. Yeah. It sounds wrong. The emphasis is on the wrong syllable. Or, if we don't talk about them, it would be just, they, they can just stay where they want. They can have one or two places. We don't talk about them. And then they'll go away eventually. I thought I was going to end up having to verse them today because I was versing Grayson and he started doing that kind of stuff. I was like, oh. He hasn't got it all yet. Okay. Because, yeah, it ended up just being Phantom Knights. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, he just did all the things and then summoned Rusty. I was like, oh. Is there a way to get Horus to work well with Banlist Cup stuff? Uh, yeah, there was something that I was like, oh, hold on. That's actually kind of cooked. I mean, there's several different Part ways of you <laughs> Is that once per turn? That's not once per turn. No. Oh god. Draw four. To three! Oh god. I've got three card of safe return. But I then, know that one. But if you get looped with the jam, then you'll die. Anywho, back to YCS Minneapolis. Uh, so after Manadium, we have 6% uh, Sprite, 3% Bestial, 3% Flunder, 3% Rika, 3% Labyrinth, 3% Vanquished Soul, 3% Exorcister, so and 3% Runic. Yeah, these are one-offs. Yeah. 3% of 32. Sure. Um, pretty, pretty wide open. Man, like, like obviously all the decks that were, were listed are expected to perform well. Yeah. But, you take that. It's a good tournament, we're I reckon. The, the age of firemen is here. Yeah. Yes, and hopefully it'll be short-lived. With, um, <laughs> a demon, with a demon Back row decks can fuck off and die. Oh my god, I really want to play that. Oh, I should play Fireman now. I ha you play card that sets card from deck? I play card that sets card from deck. Card? No. You set four. And all of yours say no. Most of mine say you can play. <laughs> How do they say no? How do they say no? Tell me what they do then. Hey, you had something. Bye bye. That's not what the back row does. Well, one of them does. Ha! Got him. Two of yours do that. 
Just one. The other one says, don't go anywhere. And don't do nothing. Yeah, again. None of my back row does that. Anyway, keep going. Well, that's all we have for YCS Minneapolis, other than the fact that the final was a mirror match. Firemen versus firemen who were miscategorized. Yeah. yeah. They just decided to only say that one of them was running the Diablo Star package when they yeah. both were. He was the one in the top 32 when they did, like, those 13 or something, whatever it was. We just literally said the number. That many Diablo Star fire engines. And then one pure fire engine. He was the one pure fire engine. And he, he had it. Yeah, he wasn't, no. <laughs> Why? Well, yes, yeah. perfect. Great work. They, the firemen need their witches. It is a Hay Hayabusa Shabadan moment. So, the one thing that I did pick up from the bits of the stream that I was able to watch, and it's something I've spoken about many times, is the American streams are a lot less fun to watch. Yes. The commentators aren't as enthusiastic or yes. charismatic or energetic. Billy's knowledgeable, but Billy's not very good. But also, <laughs> Billy just starts ripping into the guy slow playing, like, yeah. which I appreciate, where he's like, it's it's 10 minutes, like, and he's done four things. I'm like, well, shit. And then <laughs> they don't put any effort into, like, the midstream content. Like, no. they just cut to what is often an empty hallway with a camera angle just looking out onto nobody. This lends into a question we got in... Was yes, it does. I'm not going to dive too deep into this. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, circle back to the coverage. But I did find we'll something... We'll circle back to the coverage. Ah, funny. that's good corporate lingo. They cut to, like, the wide shot of the crowd after top eight, and, like, you see Triff tweeting top four, <laughs> and then someone, like, had screenshot that and then, like, responded to his tweet, being like, there's here's evidence, evidence of you posting this. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> he, what does it matter though? I'm just saying. Did so? Did they do both top four matches on stream, or was it one off, one on? I think it was one on, one off. But the first one ended so quickly that they got the other one on. Oh, cool, perfect. Like, yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, they probably didn't intend to do both, and they're like, "Oh, well, that dude sucks." No, 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 they didn't do. This and is this is just the Jake trying to old man the world. Excuse me. Because Jake tuned in for the final and they went, Oh, they're showing the other semi-final. And we responded, Yeah, no, no they lied to me. No. Okay. No. Right. No, some, it was either something they had on the stream coverage. Like, they either labelled it weirdly or someone said it over the stream that made me thought it was It was the fairly semi. early in the morning. Had you had your coffee yet? Yes. Did you have your glasses on? Yes. Oh. He's at full power. Anywho... I corrected myself and I apologised. Who's taller, Jake or Kendrick Lamar? Fuck, that question came out last night. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Two SP Little Knights in the first place deck as well. That's getting... I've been thinking. Uh, it, it, in that deck, two is required. I I'm think. thinking just in every fucking deck. Like, what, like, no, specifically in Rescue, oh, yeah, two yeah. is required. Yeah, you, you think you, you mentioned one a couple for, One to set up the board, one to break the board. Yeah. Or, we all play two. Nah, two is no, nah, Pearly yeah. wasn't. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, I'm more just trying to justify it to myself to buy another one so I have it this early. Is, yeah, I'm definitely sitting here like, oh, uh, I want to buy the second. Yeah. I mean, Tom's already got a second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because I had a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were the giant cards? Oh, those are speed jewels. The giant card this weekend did. Uh, Kaikus! The Ghost Destroyer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, two Kaikus and a um, Dark Paladin. And okay. then the um, the the other ones were Dark Hole Dragon. In, uh, in South Am the South American Dragon. YCS that's on at the moment, yep. right now, uh, coverage isn't the best. But, yeah, uh, it's just the pairings. The, uh, so bad. It's Pot of Greed. That's kind of cool. The giant they cards. always get old school cards, though. Yeah. Always. Like, they always have Head of Exodia. They always have, like, BLS... Like, just really old, random giant cards. We get these. I mean... Well, that was random. Yeah, both of yeah. those were that marketing. That was semi-recent, yeah. because... That's yeah, the reprint that, the reprint that had just come version. out. Yeah. That was, what, that, six years ago? Yeah, and that was during that was during New Challenges format. Like, that made sense. That and... El but Dante. yeah, they always get super old-school cards. It's really bizarre. I don't know yeah, why they never get Dante new stuff. Is. So what I can figure is they had 112 play like they had 112 tables, so what is 200 players, mm -hmm. 
And then they said, we'll be back tomorrow for top 64. I'm like, but how? Sure. Maybe they, they must mean the top 64 cut for rounds eight and nine. That has to be. Yeah. They can't be doing top cut with a top 64 based off, what did I say, 200-ish players? That's wild. Considering Indianapolis was 1,900 people, top 32. Sure, we have to make exceptions. Do they break their own rules to what make, makes top 64? I thought it was 1,056 players or something like that is top 64. Uh, I, the, the number thrown around was 2,000. Okay, so maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably just wrong. But yeah, I thought they got to about 1,900-ish, well, off red shows and then drops. So it came down to like 17 or something. But, okay. Um, yeah, it's... Come on, that's that's way too many players for a top cut of thirty two. You're gonna miss out on quality stuff, especially when you can you can just yeah. We'll get to the content bit in a second. Yes. So, speaking of which, we move on to our Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Or uh, send deck lists, or talk general chat, talk about yeah. The yeah news. There's a whole different bunch of uh, channels and things in there that you can jump into and have some good discussions with some quality peeps. So yeah, feel free to join. Our first question this week comes to us from, I believe, a new listener, Arch. Hi, Arch. <laughs> first time listener, second time commenter. No, the other way around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so his question is, what can Konami TCG YCS streams do to fill in the gaps between games? You think it would be cool if they streamed the Time Wizard events in between? Something needs to be done playing Who's That Yu-Gi-Oh! and listening to uh, shit... OST for an hour in between games is tough. I like the card. I like guess the, the card. The, yeah, guess the card definitely has like a ten minute section. You could do that, yeah. and you could just pencil that in as a nice fill up, like to get you from one thing to the next. Yeah, they should have a backup table. Yeah, like at the very least. Like what's? I mean, it, it requires a little bit more investment, and obviously you have to re-commentate it, or you or you can bank it and then put it on later. Like you just get a second setup. So. Another thing that I really appreciate is this happens during the US streams and it's one of the few things that I like about it is they go back to old YCS footage. Yes. They will play like YCS 2017. Yeah. I like that shit. I remember it was probably like a year ago now but they replayed that YCS where they did a uh, limited format. So it was a limited format YCS. And they replayed the match where the guy ends on like Toad, 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 under Saiyuja. Uh, that's why you like it. And then his opponent's like, sphere mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, limited would be even more cooked than what we're about to do nearly. How much money do you have to do to make everything limited? Someone Fair did bit. the math. Oh, I thought they did the math of banning every effect monster. I mean, it'd be similar math, you'd assume. I thought it was ban every, every card. No, was that just the No, that monsters? was just to ban every effect monster. So if there's 10,000 cards in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and it's ten bucks a card to move it. Mm. It's a hundred thousand mm. dollars to move every card to that spot. Or you can unban Vanity's emptiness. So <laughs> that is theoretically, the maximum amount of money we can fundraise is a hundred thousand uh, dollars. What a cap! Donate to the cause. Yeah, that's at that point the... you just start like changing rules. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, they, well, they can bank those extra games. If they had a second setup, maybe they, they, they might be a bit more worried about, like, oh, obviously the gear and staffing the judges. But you don't need to have, was it two judges on the stream table constantly Some watching? Some seemed like two minimum, like possibly three. You, they, those two could definitely be also in earshot of the other, of the backup stream to go and judge them. And yeah, you record it. I mean, if someone spoils it, ah, oh, well. But then you go, oh, okay, we've got one bank, so we can now play both top four games before we get to that. Yeah. Also, on YCSs for those side events, we're standing around like dickheads waiting for them half the time anyway. If they go, hey, so yeah, this Time Wizard event we're going to do on stream, so if you just want to chill around, like, obviously you go, oh yeah, do whatever you want. Like, I'll sit and wait until you need me to sit down and play my match. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah, have featured, like, have a featured tournament. The European streams seem a lot better prepared for this. They have a yeah. lot of content in the bank ready to go. Of <laughs> them playing speed jewels. <laughs> them playing speed I'll jewels, which then but, promotes the product that they're probably releasing. Like, they've got a bunch of the quizzes with the commentators, which gets you more involved with the commentators more personably. Like, you start to like them more because you see them outside of, like, the small interaction. 
Uh, well, for the most part, I like most European streamers. Um, not streamers, commentators. They should film an MTV Cribs style show of Marcelo's house in France <laughs> and his house in Italy. That'll be, I mean, curious. For tax purposes, this content is unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so like uh, Paul in the chat chimed in with, yeah, doing like a coverage podcasty type stuff, like half game, like TNT style, like where it's just. Hey, break down what we just saw, what we have been seeing, get a little bit more in depth with it. Like, you probably need a bit more training and presentation across the board. Like, Europe, as you said, is better. But, yeah, a smart Yu Gi Oh player doesn't necessarily make a, a better presentable Yu Gi Oh player. Like, you need to articulate the thoughts and carry a segment and hit timing. So, not that I know that here. I don't even know what time we're at. A lot. Uh, next question. Yeah, that's fine comes to us from 6R6. Uh, how many times have you gotten a salty ulti? Uh, his definition of salty ulti. We just uh, shoot local and pull an ulti from your back. Correct. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. Um, uh, I, think, I think that's a more common thing to me than... It used to be a lot more common when we used to get more yeah. OTS. Like... But your fourth place. Is this fourth place getting it count? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. As a salty ulti because it's the lowest one. I mean, yeah, well, they're not getting store credit at that level. So, yeah, I would still probably count that as a salty ulti. Like, fourth, fourth place and under now is effectively the same. We're running out of OTS packs. I know. We're going to get rations soon. Just want to get that out there. I got a salty ulti. Um, was it Droplet? Which I can now pair with the ultis from... Um, Re- oh, we, we didn't talk about the collection. We didn't talk about oh, Rarity Collection. True. Yeah, well, we'll get to that in a second, I guess. Um, they're shit. They, like... I know what they're going for with some of them, but others, like, the ultis I want to see in person because I'm like, you shouldn't be able to call this an ultimate. Yeah. Like, this, it feels like false advertising. Go, oh, there's ultimates in this. I'm like... Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Will they look good with the Forbidden Droplets, though? I'm getting a well, box. Well, I guess we're talking about it now. Um, one thing I did find interesting, because, yeah, obviously a bunch of the YouTubers got to uh, preview the product, except for you. Um, when I was watching, I think his name is Rex Cards. Yeah. Uh, while I, I was still watching... get mad at that one YouTuber who yeah. gets product, and yeah. it's literally the only Yu-Gi-Oh videos that are on his channel. Yeah. He has, like, 5,000 subs. And the only Yu-Gi-Oh content he does is I went to YCS and Konami gave me early product to open. It confuses the ever-living fuck out of me. He's a Warhammer channel. Anywho. He's not even a popular Warhammer channel. Or is that popular for that community? Yeah, it might be popular for the community. If you're a Warhammer fan, like, who are the big YouTubers and, like, how many subs do they have? Yeah, let Henry Cavill with 23 million subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm looking up Warhammer on YouTube. Anyway, um, so yeah. It must be the name. One thing I did yes. find interesting uh, is I was watching... Didn't do wonders for this. Rev's Cards uh, opening video. And one thing that he mentioned at least three times is that Konami wants to hear from us, being the players, what we think of the rarities. Like yeah. he said specifically, they want to know what we think. So my concern on that particular thing is that if enough people find interest in the... Uh, like prismatics or the ultis or any of the other stuff is that they'll like change that to what's in our OTS because they've complained for a while now that the no. printing of ultis is expensive and they've obviously limited the amount that any one person could have for varying different reasons so. but it I mean oh, surely they won't go that crazy surely it's them trialling Oh, we we're thinking about altering booster like normal booster packs again, and I adding mean, and adding nice. different versions like so we get something more like the OCG. Surely that's the implication. I mean, but, that would be the better way to but, think about it. Is that like instead of Mr. just Positive having here. a secret printing and that's it of the better cards that like you can have the secret and the prismatic secret and the quarter century and all that kind of stuff really want as to, well i really want to get them like i'm super curious to see like i'm hoping they're going to be good quality. i hope they look nice the ones that i've gotten from the ocg i, I nice. say ones one the one that i've gotten from the ocg i kind of like so i'm hoping the same translates for ours but 
until I see them in person, I'm not ready to sort of say yay or nay either way. And if you, like, I hope Konami goes back on who they gave them to and who did a, a, a horrible job of promoting... Like, this is the first time we're seeing these rarities. This is, <laughs> this is genuinely, like, actual content, like, that is good for the community. And some of them missed the memo of point the camera at the goddamn card. And some of them even know what the rarities were called. Yes, yeah. there was one in particular. They were making them up. I was like, oh, okay. One in particular just took a stab at every single one that appeared, and the editor had to then put it in a caption up the top with like a little asterisk being like, no, it's actually this. That was half his video. Oh, well, I, I wasn't <laughs> going to name them, but okay. Yeah. And. Well, there's your European coverage. Man is a literal Konami employee now. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, it's a bit like, and cut the glare out as well. Like, it, like the run of the mill pack opening or whatever. Like, production's neither here nor there. It's about the chase. Mm. But this was you're showing us the card rarities, and we've got a lot of different variations of cards. There's no time to screw around. You, you might be the first one on YouTube for months. You th- Why are you wasting it? You think they would have had more? Um Control's probably not the right word, but maybe more input as to like, okay guys, make sure when you're doing these that like you're giving the cards good exposure. Yeah. We want them to look good so that people can see what they're getting. Or maybe Especially with the cost of this product. Like it's double the amount that you'd spend on a regular box. So you want- It's not like that for Americans. Yeah, what's the the resale, like what's the, so what's the maximum what is the recommended retail price? I just said every other word but the for one. For us? Yeah. I think it's like 230 a box. Yeah, 235 or something like that. I was box. wondering if it was like down to 180 and we're just been seeing a bunch of markups because of demand. But if it's no. set at that, interesting. It's very expensive it's product. The entire European production region. Yeah. And people that are like, oh, it's because it's printed in America and it's exported over. That is wrong. Uh, so... They are, are they are different printings. They are printed I mean, in each facility. Different. For a fact, in the American packs, it goes super, super, ultra, ultra secret. In the European packs, it goes super, super ultra, secret. secret, ultra, super. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing a super on the end of, like, the first European opening I watched. I'm yeah. like, huh? What? Because yeah, I watched two American openings and then watched Farfa's one. And I was like, oh, the packs are definitely different. And the American ones still look American. Like, yeah. that deep, orangey... Yeah. So here we are. Which the American ones were sh- like the, Ameri- the the couple of American ones I watched were shot really well, and now I'm like, oh yeah, and I can see that they look poo. But the European ones seemingly okay again, in our opinion. Yeah. Yes. I guess it all comes down to that. I'm gonna get a box at the very least. Yeah, I'll probably I'll get a box when a box. it comes in. I did on buy Thursday. a bunch of singles though. I'll probably crack it and pop it on YouTube. The main reason I bought singles is so that I can give people back the cards that I'm borrowing. <laughs> It, yeah, it's not. It's tempting. I do need super prosperity, though. I do think like this is going to be one of those few sets that releases for me, and I guess for most people in the modern era, where like if everyone buys a box, you can all just trade. Yeah, you just go back and forth. It's like, yeah. oh, do you got a um, quarter century Albaz? I'll trade you for my Prismatic Secret Prosper, or whatever. Yeah. Like, mm. you can sort of just go back and forth. It's probably the closest ever trading. been In a trading card game! The, I know, it's a, <laughs> absurd. It's probably the closest we've ever gotten since Battles of Legend first came out. But that was more, you buy a box yourself. You got everything, yeah. You bought a box, you got all of it. You got either four of the bad secrets as doubles, or you got four of the good secrets as doubles. That was a great set. That was a the great set. The way they printed that was phenomenal. It really was fantastic. And like, Battles of Legend has just gone so far far down the fucking toilet since this year's one wasn't too bad it had too many cards in it I don't know way too many too cards bad. like when they switched to 100 card sets that was problematic monstrous revenge yeah this is the one that I forgot existed <laughs> it came out a couple months ago yeah it came out on my birthday not quite my birthday but close enough with Try Edge Master well that's why that explains why I didn't know fucking Try Edge Master <laughs> Um, so yeah, circling back to uh, 6i6 question, There's a um, Salty Aldi, I pulled one, oh, I guess it's not really a Salty Aldi because I got the store credit anyway when I came second that I pulled per lily. Ooh. It looks I... quite nice as well, I have to say. I don't think I've ever oh, won locals and pulled an ulti. You've never pulled an ulti at the lower ranks? No, I've never won locals and pulled an ulti. I think I've oh, only yeah. ever, ever had Salty Aldi's. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've won. Funny. I've won locals and pulled ulties. Why not? I pulled two ulties in one night. I've done oh, that what? too. Uh, yeah, I've yeah, done. Yeah. I did I think back we did to back. it in the same OTS as well. Like not the same box, but the same era of OTS. I uh, think it was brilliant fusion invocation. Yeah, yeah, I pulled two ulti invos in three packs. <laughs> <laughs> it was good and it wasn't. It was when I wasn't playing in invoke two, back so I had to the then sell them and buy them again. When you could just get multiple OTS packs. I know, and it's not like I want to sit there and dig through ten. I just want like another one. Yeah, like I'll be real. I don't really care, so I always just get the one. <laughs> yeah, because you just haven't liked ultis, but when they bring out like the one. e. Whatever it is. Econ. No, it's still not an ulti that I'm going to be like, yeah. Give me more packs. I wonder where those maxis are now. Oh, the ulti maxis. Mm. Choices. Mm. Uh, last question this week comes to us again from 6 6 The worst thing about that is I traded for a playset and I can only find two of the secrets. <laughs> so now I have the same amount of maxis, same rarities as I've begun with. I'm actually, I think I might have three golds, which might be the case for December. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> I think I've curated a binder maxi. of uh, like band stuff and there's like 15 maxi in there. Dear Lord. <laughs> if we even play maxi. Oh, please. I'll play maxi. Please, come on. Um, last question this week is from 6 r 6 What card did you think which card do you think did not deserve to be included in the 25th anniversary rarity box? Uh, his vote is for Win the Wind Charmer. Yeah, that was... What? There is a couple of random shit ones in there. Like, uh... Faris. No, I've got a worse one for you. Mm. Ice Barrier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ice Barrier... I'm going to pull a quarter century Ice Barrier. Were they going to... For, oh, and the Ice Barriers were a part of it. It's like, well, you could have given us Brian Ack or something. Was it? I, well, did it end up just being the OTS set with Maxi taking out? Yes. Okay, yeah. Thought so. Card, right. It was yeah. that card, card for card. Cool. And yeah, it was like, and it was the very first pack of that early YouTube person. Like it was like, oh yep, num like that's a number. We're done. Like ding, dings forty one, like forty one. Yeah. Easy. Like it's just so. It feels lazy. There was yeah they, the the trap lineups outside of Ice Barrier are like is really good though. I'm like, oh yeah, that's all, those are all pretty good traps. But then, yeah, just some of the monsters they're thrown in. I don't like having both the alt arts, like having um, Unicorn and, uh, Unicorn and, and Eldritch. Eldritch, where it's like, you could have just done the one. Well, I'll take the alt arts. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just say it's just alt arts. Well, just that's do the, the thing. I don't, know, I don't know if they want to fall into the pitfall. Well, actually, I don't know if they even care. But the same issue that they had with the Engage quarter century, where they only did the alt art, and then people were pissy that they didn't do the original uh, art yeah if you want to do one you do the regular art not the old art unless yeah, it's golden lord then you do the old art yeah i was gonna say yeah, yeah golden you lord have to give sassy lord like, his, his day and we have secret golden like we had secret golden lord yeah. like we're all going to prefer the. We almost, only have crap versions of the old art i almost wish that they'd done some of the other old arts as well not just those two because yeah. like some of them could have looked Was really IP, nice ip's like, not in this is it no. Yeah, the Altart IP might have been nice. Altart IP should be in there of an ice barrier. Yeah. But yeah, um, like Ice Dragon's Prison wasn't a bad one either. Just trying to think of like the shit ones. That card, that card dropped barrier. off. Yeah. But Ice Dragon's Prison, yeah. Dropped off. But it was still like, you look at it and go, oh, that's a good card. Okay. The more I think about Rarity Collection, the more I think that it's less for, like, high-end collectors and it's more just for the wider player base. Like, as expensive yeah. as the set is, like, it just means that everyone can have access to pretty much everything. This will be a set where if I'm given the option of what pack I want, I'm taking this set. Yeah, because, like, you're going to get some good reprints that will be handy later on, or you can just crack, like, an insanely good quarter century or ulti or collector's rare or whatever whatever mm. fairy tale luna can go get go to hell as well yeah that was a bad one uh, not even snow well they banned snow so they couldn't put it in <laughs> take it, it out take it out as well so we're, we're pulling less shit yeah go down all seven if we can go to we can go 78 hey let's go let's go wild let's keep cutting yeah, make cuts. Cut alpha master of the beast that card can get stuffed no, that's a pretender i, that. I, I actually that. kind of want that that's yeah. one of my ones well, my don't we have all the ultras lying around yeah, but yeah, it's not the same. I want nice ones. Yeah. But for what end? It'll come up uh, for a month. 
Exactly. And then it'll fall off again. Yeah, welcome to Staples. That's how they fucking work. No, not for just a month. That's not how Staples work. They come tech in and out. And also, the tech cards whatever. The word you're looking for. I, yeah, yeah, they that's go in text. my Staples binder, they're a staple, okay? Yeah, I don't think it's... I have a tech... I call that a tech card binder because the staples are never oh. actually in the binder. <laughs> Egyptian God Slime probably shouldn't be there. It needed a reprint. I just don't think this yeah. was the opportunity. Yeah. I, I get I get it. But also... Oh, there's a ghost trick card in here. That's right. Oh, Angel of Mischief. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Cheesy wink on card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you actually play it in Modern Spiral for some reason. Who? Huh. I think it's because... You in, overlay the two... Yeah, you can make... Um, you make it. Yeah. <laughs> we kept cutting each other off. But basically, um, you make Dullahan to put your um, quick fix back in the bin, and then you do Angel of Mischief, shirt, search the new Ghost Trick spell, bring mm. back the Dullahan, overlay another Angel of Mischief, and make um, Future Draco. Yeah. Classic. Just another negate. Classic. Oh, the deco talker was in there too. That probably could be covered. Uh, he, yeah. He covered? He yeah. yeah. Oh, that needed a reprint. It did. Yeah. Once again. Probably didn't need seven rarities, but that's okay. Uh, Celine for all the. I forgot Celine was in Definitely here for all the Exodia players. Well timed reprint. When I saw that reprint, I was like, oh, nice. Yeah. Certainly yeah. only have two Celine. Yeah. It's like, mm, I wanted to that's fuck around con- with this. That's a concerning statement. Do I have to ban Exodia pieces now? Yeah, do you want? Didn't Tom already put him in the four? Three? No, he said he was going to, but he didn't. Ah, Tom! Always. It's, it's so unlike Tom to say something and then not follow through. <laughs> and then he goes and buys a case. That oh, case, yeah. that case could have gone to unbanning. <laughs> so, yeah, the flawed logic of that, and it's really not the place to discuss it, but here we are. The flawed logic of, oh, I need to play, well, I don't even need to play. I want to play Rescue Ace and Diablo Star. So rather than just paying the maybe $350 to buy the Diablo Star stuff I need, I'll pay 1500 plus, plus gamble on a case, a and then still have to buy the Rescue Ace. <laughs> It's and so dumb. Half the Diablo stuff. <laughs> yeah, like he had to trade away stuff, and he still had to pay to get other cards. I mean, it worked well for me. I got the um, quarter century Zark. Oh, cool. Yep. It's actually really nice. Yeah, I, when I saw he pulled it, I was eyeing it off for a second. But yeah, as, yeah, as right. long as it's gone a good home. Yeah, I do plan to put that deck together at some point. Oh, you're gonna Maybe. play it? I just want to. He's gonna pay the little summon. I mean, oh yeah. My God. Now that can you pendulum Jake, Jake summon? Jake hasn't pendulum summoned in a long time. Has he ever? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. You play magician. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Now, I remember. Now. It was only. It was only us, wasn't it? Um. Well, that was yes. Yeah. No. Um. Blake was doing it too. Pendulum. 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 This is Melbourne, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, why the is best. Yes. Because Spiral was boring as fuck. Boring as fuck, Ben. Great. Boring as fuck. Anyway, that concludes us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, feel free to jump into I didn't our have Discord. The ghost for Spiral back then. Oh yeah, oh. Didn't, I didn't have duller hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, whatever will I do? I can't believe I locked into that bitch. I just had Got it sitting there the whole time. I was like, I like Spiral. I mean, it was on this. They announced but double helix, and I was like, oh. <laughs> You're consistent with that statement, at least, because you've definitely said it in that voice before. <laughs> I like my round. <laughs> I mean, I, I bought it because, like, that marketing, the they were plugging the shit out of all the spiral stuff. I'm like, there's no way they'd let this be shit. I, like, I mean, then, the TCG let it be shit. It was the OCG no, that's like... No, but I, I, meant, I meant, like, in a... Oh, yeah, well, the first, like... Um, it wasn't good. It, it won a Locals before. Oh, oh good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fucking... It's an OTS pack. Corey Watson came third at the LLDS. I miss you every day, Corey. Uh, as LLDS Nara when like LLDSs could get you to Worlds. So all of the Worlds competitors were there. And he came third. Playing spiral. pre-double helix spiral. <laughs> big red, big red. He was, yeah, just like sleep up, pop. But like double helix had been announced at this point. So everyone was like, oh, this is shit. Doesn't have double helix. Oh, lost. <laughs> but, like literally got the deck off of me at the start of the day and I was like this is ancient fairy dragon combo let's go <laughs> anywho that does conclude us very much for this week thank you all very much for listening and watching uh, jump into our discord uh, check out the mega ban list uh, section feel free to make some changes um, 
realistically, to the at this point, I have no hope of any deck that I've ever played to survive. So feel free to go in there and fuck up everything else for everybody else. I'm so that we're all on a level playing field. I'm gonna just drop uh, little bands on Jake's decks, left, right, and center. That's okay. Little band here. Yeah, if you've ever thought about donate, like little if you've been meaning to donate, like this is just a good excuse, right? Sax deductible. And <laughs> yes, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll cover it. Like you will see the results of this. We're gonna. Yeah. yeah, there will be content going up for this. Uh, I imagine there'll be some this. cooked ass profiles and shit going up after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deck you profile deck that you're never going to be able to play anywhere. <laughs> I to mean, be fair, the, in the past when I've uploaded stupid as fuck deck profiles, they typically do well. I mean, yeah, that fucking disgusting hand trap invoked thing. Yeah, how views. that ever got like a shitload of views, I don't know. When I was like, what if I played the ten invoked cards in the engine, and then thirty hand traps? <laughs> I might go back and just watch the match of my, like, construction level invoked versus your abomination, just to remind normal myself. Normal summon No, I normal summon else. No, oh, well, that hits me much worse than hits you. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a monster. You have mech knights and things. This is all I've got. I can't gamma no more. <laughs> oh, you, you can't do that, Melbourne things. Anyway, uh, if you are listening, feel free to uh, favourite us. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump to our Discord, and we'll see you all next week. Peace.